What's up and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're talking about the Asus TUF A14, which looks amazing this year. This is a Strix Halo gaming laptop. Now I gotta give a big shout out and thank you to Asus for sponsoring my trip out to CES. No brand controls my content. I always strive to be authentic and honest in every way. And that's why I love working with Asus. They don't try to manipulate my content. They let me be honest with you about what I think about these laptops. So again, thank you to them for supporting the channel. Let's check out this Asus TUF A14. We had a, the Flow Z13, which was a gaming tablet kind of, or a multi-purpose tablet, but this TUF Gaming A14 is in a laptop form factor with the Ryzen AI Max 392 and the Radeon 8060S giant iGPU. And this thing is gonna be able to play games at full HD, QHD. It's gonna be able to play games on ultra settings. And it's got 12 cores, 24 threads of desktop level performance in a thin 14 inch laptop. I love it. I love that they're doing this. The other great thing about this is that it's got unified memory up to 64 gigs, either 32 or 64. There is no 128 gig support as far as I'm aware. So this one is not gonna be like the top of the line AI local model laptop. This thing weighs 3.26 pounds, which is a little bit lighter than the Zephyrus G14. And yet this one has a quite a bit better CPU. Now, obviously an RTX 5080 GPU is gonna be a lot more powerful than what we got here in the Radeon 8060S, but at least you have two upgradable SSD M.2 storage slots. Both of those though are PCIe Gen 4. For ports, you have two USB-A 3.2 Gen 2 Type A, and you have two USB-C, and one of those is USB 4 with DisplayPort and power delivery, and one of those is 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C. You also have an HDMI 2.1 2-in-1 combo headphone jack. And there's a micro SD card reader with UHS-2 support. The keyboard is a chiclet style and it feels really, really good. It has a white backlight and a nice glass touchpad. Full HD IR camera for Windows Hello on here. For Wi-Fi, you get Bluetooth 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. The battery is a 73 watt hour, 200 watt AC power adapter, which is super overkill given that this doesn't even need more than 120 watts for total system. But at least the 200 watt power adapter will help quickly charge the battery when you need to bring it back up to full. 1.48 kilograms or 3.26 pounds, and it's 0.67 inches thin at the thinnest and 0.78 inches thick at the thickest. If there's one weakness to the TUF A14, it's the display. You know, you don't have an OLED on here. It's gonna be an IPS, 100% sRGB with 2560 by 1600 resolution, 165 hertz refresh rate. It should still be very fast and good for gaming. It has free sync support on here, so there shouldn't be any screen tearing. And it has an 88% screen to body ratio, which is very, very good. Overall, this new 2026 TUF A14 looks really amazing. Whether or not I can recommend it in the long run is mainly going to be based on price. How much is this going to cost versus the competition? If it's more than $2,000, it's probably going to be tough to recommend. If it's less than $1,500, it's going to be like, this is amazing, this is a great deal, and you should consider buying it over even the Zephyrus G14. So I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere between those two price points, and maybe when it goes on sale, it'll go less than $1,500. That's the hope at least. The Tough series also has a bit more focus on durability. You know, it has a CNC milled aluminum chassis and it's very lightweight. It has all of these military grade toughness to it. It's kind of a tough lineup, vibration, altitude, temperatures being high or low or shock. In theory, the Tough A14 maybe is an excellent laptop to buy for a kid, but maybe the non-Strix Halo version that can be had for a, a less, less money, I don't know. So that's the Asus TUF A14, looks amazing. Would you buy this over the Zephyrus G14? Let me know in the comments down below. I think if you're after CPU performance, I feel like you're gonna get a lot more CPU performance on the TUF A14. If you're after GPU performance, you gotta get the higher end G14s to get that extra GPU performance because this one is gonna match like an RTX 5060 approximately. It's an interesting toss up. You know, Do you want an OLED screen or IPS screen? Do you want 12 desktop level cores or do you want a more mobile oriented low power CPU? Overall for me, I would go Zephyrus G14 RTX 5070 Ti if it was my money. But if this tough A14 costs significantly less than that version, then you solve the VRAM problem, you get great CPU performance, 
And you get an even more portable 14-inch gaming laptop, the Tough A14, looking really strong if they price this laptop at the right price. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon, out.